Imagine the blue screen of death, but on a MacBook. Yeah, the thing that's not supposed to have a blue screen. Yeah, I did that to myself with malware that I wrote in Rust. And I'm going to tell you what happened and why Rust is becoming one of the most important and scariest languages in cybersecurity today. Rust is taking over big tech companies, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Meta, you name it. Not because it's trendy, but because of what the US cybersecurity agencies just told them. CISA, the NSA and the White House have all publicly recommended moving away from C and C++ into memory safe languages like Rust. And there's a reason for that. Over 50% of all critical security vulnerabilities comes from memory issues. Buffer overflows, use after free, null pointer dereferences, the same problems we've seen for decades. C and C++ put the responsibility entirely on the programmer. One bad pointer, one off by one error, boom, this is a crash, there's an exploit, and millions lost. Some languages use garbage collectors to help, but those can freeze, lag, or clean up memory at the worst possible time. Rust fixes all of this with its famous borrow check. It forces safe memory management at compile time. So half of the vulnerabilities that plague modern software literally cannot happen. And it does all of that while still running at the speed of C and C++, which is great for security, but it's also good for malware. See, all that safety, all that performance, attackers love that too. Malware that was once written in C or C++ is now being rewritten in Rust. And it comes with some fun new problems for defenders. Rust compiles into huge, heavily optimized binaries. The control flow is extremely complex, and async runtimes like Tokyo or async-std make execution unpredictable. Symbol names get mangled beyond recognition, and because Rust handles memory so strictly, it becomes harder to analyze traditional vulnerabilities. In short, Rust malware is a nightmare to reverse engineer, and the cybersecurity industry knows it, which brings us to something that should scare you a little. Microsoft is now building a tool called Rift, Rust Intermediate Language Forensics Tool. It's specifically designed to break down, analyze, and reverse engineer Rust malware. Why? Because Rust malware is now showing up in the wild. Cross-platform ransomware, botnets, advanced persistent threats, phishing loaders, crypto stealers, and traditional tools struggle with it. Rift basically deconstructs Rust binaries back into something readable, so analysts don't have to manually decode thousands of lines of optimized borrow checker madness. So yeah, Rust is rising in cybersecurity. Okay, now let me tell you how I accidentally crashed my Mac with Rust malware. I was trying to see how I could control the mouse pointer on my MacBook. I wanted to see what would happen if I were to loop and asynchronously loop moving the mouse to a random position and then clicking. The whole system crashed. There was a purple, the, half this display turned purple, the other half black, crashed, and then um, a few minutes later, I see the Apple logo come up, and my Mac had just restarted. It's not quite a Windows BSOD, but close enough that for a moment, I thought Apple had personally come to assassinate me. This tiny Rust program might not work on other operating systems, but if I can accidentally crash my machine with a tiny Rust program, this is probably one of the simplest, it was maybe maximum 20 lines of code. I'm just imagining what a professional malware developer could do if they had access to these kinds of things. To conclude, Rust isn't just a fast new language. It's a fundamental shift in how software is built and how it breaks it protects against huge classes of vulnerabilities, but it also gives malware authors a powerful new platform. It's harder to reverse engineer its cross platform and the security industry is scrambling to catch up. Rust is neither good or bad. It's a double-edged sword. You can use it both as an attacking tool and as a defensive tool. It just depends which side you're on, on the white or the black side. Thank you guys so much for watching.